I fix my own hot tub pump. Well, guys, it looks like my Saru Spark pump is leaking again. The last fix lasted me about a month. Basically, all I had to do was just replace these washers in here and everything was good to go because it was leaking from around here. But now we have a deeper problem. Let's troubleshoot it and see what's going on. Okay guys, for simplicity, I went ahead and flipped it upside down on a five gallon bucket and I removed six screws that holds this bottom panel in. Lift it off. As soon as I lifted it off, I noticed there was a water spot right here where water has been dripping down. And as I look straight down from there, I lie, the water pump. Let's take a closer look. Okay, for simplicity, there's two screws that holds the water pump in. <clears throat> one here and one over here. And there's a clamp around here. I've already taken it off. And then I was able to just <clears throat> lift the pump out. And then I noticed these washers here seem to be really worn down and smooth. So I'm gonna replace these with the new green washers that should be coming in with the kit because apparently this is the heater here and the water was <clears throat> seeping out from around here at the bottom where the heater's at. I inspected the heater and all the rest of the tubing leading into the heater and everything was really good to go. There was no leak, so I'm gonna start out with replacing these caskets, these O-rings here, and the one right here, going to the inlet, and we're gonna see what happens, but it uh, should be a relatively simple procedure. We'll see. Looks like I'm in luck today. My pump kit came in. It has everything to actually rebuild the pump. I shouldn't have to use everything because the pump is not actually noisy or giving an error, an error code of EO2, which means there's something wrong with the uh, water flow. But this is a uh, um, best way, part number 813-0704. And it's for the <clears throat> Savvy Spa pump. It comes with all of the O-rings, the new impeller, new screws to hold the lid on, new seal for the lid, everything I re really need to have to get everything going. But what I think all I really will be able to use or need to use right now is these green O-rings right here because that's where the water seems to be leaking from. So we'll give that a try first and if that doesn't do the trick, then I go through all of this. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay, here are the new seals that we're gonna be using. So let's go ahead and get to it. We'll go ahead and pry these off and get the new ones on. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get these old seals off and get this party started. One, Look at that, it just broke. Two. Look at the difference in thickness. See that, the difference? Let's get them back on. Oh boy. One. I think maybe I should have put that one on first. Let's see. We can do this. There we go. Two. Let's get.
take this old thing off right here. This is for the inlet. Look at the difference. Let's get this new one on here. I can tell it's gonna be a good fit because these things are hard to get on here, man. Whew. Not that easy. Come on. Okay. That's that. Okay, now. Let's get it all put back together, which is really simple. So basically you just slide this out. And you probably figured it out already. This goes right down in here. Oh boy, yeah, this is a much tighter fit there. Wow. Jeez, what a fit. Oh, that's not gonna leak. Ooh, boy, I'm liking it already, guys. Ready, 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 ready. I'm liking it. Wow. That's a fit. Okay, now for the fun part, we're going to get the screws back in there. These two screws. To hold it in, this one's going to be easier to get to because I can go directly to it. And the other one's a different story because it's not much room, but we can do this. Guys, anytime you can fix things yourself, do a little research and get your money right and stuff and do it yourself because these people will rip you off out there, man. They'll get you. They wanted uh, $299 for another pump and a hot tub only cost three seventy nine. dollars And the thing is, the rebuild kit for the pump was only uh, ten ninety nine with all the stuff you see there. So this is the hard part here. I gotta try to get this screw down in here. And just get the angle. Ugh. It's not that bad. I'm loving it already. Make sure they're good and tight because this hole's gonna be doing a little bit of flexing once you hook it up. It's good and tight. Now, let's go ahead and get the clamp on. I have to lift this hose on here, which is another fun part within itself. Wow, that wasn't too bad. I'm loving it. But guess what? I forgot to put the clamp on first. Off it comes. On goes the clamp. And we'll do this again. Simple mistake on my part. Uh, I'm not Mr. Know-it-all, but I know a lot of things, a little bit about a lot of things. So there you go. Who likes having a Mr. Know-it-all around anyway? Get on your damn nerves. Let's get this thing tightened down. Good and tight. Pumps back in. New seals. Now all we gotta do is get the bottom in. Okay, we got the bottom in. This is the last screw to tighten up. We're gonna take it out there, hook it up to the hot tub, and see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uncap it and hook it up to the pump and see what happens. Okay, we got everything all hooked up now, so we'll go ahead and remove the cover from the hot tub, pull the inside plugs out and let the water flow, and we will see what happens. Wish me luck. I just gotta remove those black plugs right there, and the water will flow to the pumps. I used my boroscope with iPhone, and look what I found. Man, this thing was leaking like a sieve. I had to go ahead and replace the gasket, and go ahead and replace the impeller the screws and everything. See how it was leaking around where those rusty screws are? We got it going, though. Fun so far, I guess. 
Well, looks like she's going without leaks. Well, it's been a nice journey and I saved a lot of money. Started out by replacing washers and I went ahead and re rebuilt the pump and I'm good to go now. Just a used pump goes for about $299. Hell, the hot tub was only $379. can use that money for something else, like electricity bill. <laughs> Time to enjoy it. Thanks for watching.